I mean, welcome to Shipwrecked, or Shipwrecked 64. Um, this is something I've kind of wanted to do, and that is a, another horror game. Uh, this is a horror game in the style of, like, lost or found footage, but then in game forms of found game. Um, and I was appointed to this one through a certain channel featuring a multicolored, multi-eyed cat with multiple colors. Um, going by the name of Nightbrand. Um, I saw this pop up. Uh, he did his intro set as he usually does. Go check out the stuff for yourself first before you continue watching my video. And blah, blah, blah. So that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played horror. Apparently, this is somewhat akin to um, stuff you may remember. Uh, what was it? Doki, Doki Literary Club? Um, so, yeah, it's gonna start off all normal and stuff, and then it's gonna go presumably really, really bad. Anyway, I'm gonna hit A because something weird happened while I was setting up my recording stuff, which you'll be seeing now. What the frick is happening? I'll give you proper introductions in a bit, just... what the heck? Okay, let me just... So that's kind of what we're going to be going with. Anyway, that's our character. Um, while we're in game, I'm assuming nothing weird is going to happen. I can actually give a bit more info about the game safely now, I think. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, this game has been developed by Squeaks to Corgi Cogware Games, publisher Cogware Games. Um, <clears throat> let me make sure I just keep moving here a little bit. Again, I don't want stuff to happen <clears throat> by accident. So this is... <clears throat> uh, presumably Bucky, who has... I guess we'll get a little bit more destroyed now. I'm not going to say too much before we're actually into the new game. <clears throat> um, an old game or did it from late 90s, commissioned by the, <clears throat> at the time, beloved Broadside Animation Studio. Uh -huh. Game is very mysterious nature, surrounding its launch, and it was only available from August 13, 1997 to August 17, 1997, receiving little promotion from Cogware. And not for Broadside. Downloadable version of this game is the closest one can get to playing the original copy of the game. <clears throat> we at SWRC or the Shipwreck Recovery Crew were lucky enough to get our hands on an original cartridge, dump it, and convert a lot of the code to new software. Without having the two original developers, we were able to make this game accessible to everyone. Uh, and I have to uh, put itself in time perfect, it is a work of fiction. And as I mentioned at the start, and as well as the warning that showed up at the start, this game is not going to be for the faint of heart, so you are warned. Now, as uh, Nightmind gave me my warning, I'm going to give it to you too. If this is something that speaks to you, go play it yourself first. Uh, there might be a, quite the wind-up before things go or do get crazy. We've seen it enough on, um, oh, what was that again, the other game? The last quote-unquote horror game that I played, uh, Omori? Yeah. It took a while for things to go weird there as well, but when it did, whoo -wee. Anyway, um, enough yapping, I guess. Let's, uh... So this is the thing that woke me up then, I guess. Oh, that turns off the music. Okay. So yeah, I am playing this blind. I am gonna miss a lot. Um, the forum post itself says you may want to, you know join the community and find or help the secrets. I'll probably look at some guides, but only when I'm f done my first playthrough, I guess. Right. 
right, so one thing I know is I have to do this first to get a good ending here, and then we can go into that. And that is where stuff goes weird. Hey, everyone! God I need it. your help! Step into the screaming realm with Buffy and his friends. Explore a vast open island and hopefully bring your friends back to safety. So what do you say, buddy? Let's go rescue the gang! Alright, well, expect jump scares, I guess. Well, I guess that's where the 64 comes in. Hi! Probably is good things for the other version. So yeah, I'm assuming this is gonna be a bit of a quote unquote tame thing, but we'll see how things go, right? Nice chipper. Can I... Yes, buttons are being pressed. They aren't doing anything. My controller is... Stare at the ground. Is this actually how the controller was on an N64? Because, well, the, the colors are off on... Let me quickly check that. Uh... Oh, wait, that means I have to open... Oh, it doesn't matter, because I'm... Uh, N64 controller... If it starts mentioning a Z button, we'll know. I just want the image. Yeah, okay. So the N64 did have a blue A button and a green B button. Okay, bumpers do work. I really do hope that timer isn't something I do need to worry about. Can we swim? No, nope. our beaver buddy cannot swim. Must have been a rough life for him, eh?
stairs or for chumps. Okay, so these are the canvases. I'm assuming these are gonna start looking a little different. The hole. Okay. Park. Well, let's start over there. screen is now completely messed up. It's gonna be a horror show, but that's why we're here, right? Uh, if you're wondering about the black borders, I have them too. It's just the way the game is. Remember, the N64 era, we had 4x3, so... Inside of a local dam, good job. Don't move it gets dark. Okay. Oh and it brings me there, okay. I'm assuming the lights are going to go out. Do I have to... Parts. Okay, the boat moves when you're in it. Can I be in... Can the boat move when it's dark? Does that count as me moving when it's dark? <laughs> Is this a jumpy thing? <laughs> Imagine being mid-jump when that happens. Oh, he can map? Okay. person who knows when there's gonna be a jump scare is gonna or like in this case like hey don't move I'm gonna be like oh no I accidentally moved just to see what happens you know if it happens it'll happen can you wall jump look at this guy it's freaking Mario I guess Mario was on the other side. And the one on the N64 as well, right? So yeah, if nothing happens here because I can listen to rules and the likes, all the more reason for you guys to... Uh, Try it out yourself, right? 
<laughs> in a few minutes, the lights are just gonna start flashing. You have to move like this. <sighs> so far, the closest thing that this resembles me to. Yeah, it's probably Mario. I was gonna go with Banjo Kazooie first, but because hmm. you do have the overworld, but I guess you have that in Mario as well. See much in the way of collectibles. One thing I can say though is the N64 generally didn't have this good of camera control. It was just, hey, push this button to center your camera, and that's mm, more often than not all you got. Let's see what's in here. Oh, okay. I had speedrun strats all down. Okay, so we should be able to get the boat out. Seems I can be in the boat. I guess because falling didn't seem to do anything bad for us. Alright, we're done. Time to go home. Freed Walter Walrus. Yay! Machine unlocked. Yes, I did. Aren't I amazing? Okay, so I guess we each took our own boat or something? I saw a bird here somewhere too. What would I presume to be a bird? It seems time doesn't matter, it just progresses every time you do something. Okay, so not a bird, but a... Uh... Hi. Guessing that's our volcano over there. Um, is there somebody going to be stuck in each of the sections? Theater. Okay. No, Bucky, with a B. You're on the main screen as well, so you're important. <laughs> Giovanni Goose, all right. Is hey. So what are we doing? Oh, I'm having all this music thud in the background. Oh, 
this isn't too bad. That was easy. You're good. Where's the lamb sauce? Cook the worst, most vile, disgraceful putrid dish I've ever laid. Something. Apparently, it's good enough, though. Collectible, or is that just you know because this is a theater? Anything else? Spending my last few days here, you know, it's not okay. So be careful when pushing buttons because you can easily skip text. Okay, so the time hasn't changed. the park. Okay, so these interconnect as well then. Okay, you look like somebody who's part of the crew. So they got our coconuts for rules. They have our deaths for the crash. Yeah, standing still makes it hard to find stuff. You sound like an expert, and yet you still suck at it. Oh good, it's a time thing. No joke, I would. Well, I must have mentioned this a number of times already. I do not like timers. Like, what's the point? Oh, we need to rush. Why? Why can't we not enjoy anything we're doing? Okay, so they say black if you smack them enough, it seems. Reason. 
Alright. Move them tiny legs. Now we're going. I wonder what the strange version is going to be like. I'm also going to check if there's like a quote unquote spoiler free guide if I uh, have to do some of the weird stuff. Check, oh, that's the secret. Um, more like, uh, hey, try doing this or this rather than if you do this, then blah. Like the other way around, like, in order to get this to happen, do that. Punching trees. <laughs> hey, watch it! Hey, watch it! You're just asking for Missy. Like timers. <laughs> Go find the hole. I think there's a, quite a bit of place to go here. And get to the hall from the beach. Hmm. Oh, is this where we... I don't know, it's not. I thought this was going to be where the game started, but I guess not. Still about the whole not a terror. Safe space from the visitors, make yourself comfy and take care. Alright. Um let's save and call this our first episode. For now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. Um I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye everyone.